here today with Coach Travis Reeve of the El Campo Rice Birds. How are things going today, Coach? It's going great. Going great. Glad to be with you today. Thank you. Um, so you've been on campus there about a month and a half. Um, you've been able to see your your football players out playing in other sports and in the weight room. How are things going in the spring? It's going good. You know, um, it's been a great transition. It's been really fun getting to know the kids, getting to know our community and uh, the people that, uh, you know, part of our faculty and staff. And, um, you know, Campo is a great place. I knew that coming in uh, just from the outside looking in. But now that I'm here, uh, El Campo has, uh, you know, really made my family and I welcome. And and then just getting to watch the kids and work with the kids, uh, you know, you can tell that they come from a great tradition and, and they understand uh, what it takes to win. And so we've just been working on uh, learning, you know, our new system and, and how we go about doing things. And our kids have, have done a great job of buying in and working really hard and doing what we ask them to do. Now, as much as you can, understanding you've only been there six weeks, kind of give us a, uh, a feel of what your team is going to look like in the fall. You know, who's going to be stepping in to fill some of those roles that have been vacated and just what your team's going to look like on the field? Well, I think, you know, it's it's still real early, as you said, and, and I think that, you know, it's wide open right now as to, you know, who's going to end up being starters for us and, you know, but I can tell you this, um, uh, you know, just generally speaking, what we're going to look like, uh, you know, we're a four-two-five on defense, and and um, you know, we are, uh, uh, you know, multiple formation offense, and uh, you know, we want to try to be balanced. We feel like you got to run the ball and you got to stop the run in order to be able to win games. Uh, but I think that you got to be able to take advantage of what defenses give you as well. And so we want to try to be able to be balanced, and you know, throwing it and running it on offense. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, El Campo's got a lot of uh, weapons to utilize uh, on offense, um, you know, as far as, you know, running backs, receivers, you know, quarterbacks, uh, our quarter, you know, uh, quarterback coming back, Oliver Miles, um, you know, split time uh, last year with a senior that graduated. And, um, uh, you know, we've got a couple other guys that are, that are playing quarterback as well. Um you know, uh, uh, we're replacing quite a few guys on the offensive line. Uh, but we got some guys that are stepping in and, and uh, um, I think are going to do a good job for us. And then defensively, um, you know, same thing. You know, we probably got about five guys back on defense that started last year. And uh, then we've got a lot of guys that, uh, you know, are either backups on the varsity or started on the JV. And I think, uh, I think when it's all said and done, we'll have a lot of guys that will contribute um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of different ways on our football team. All right. Now, if you don't mind, kind of walk us through who's in your district. And, again, just based on what you've been able to see so far, what you think they're going to look like on the field this fall? You know, I'm still learning, uh, you know, about our about our district. I know it's a very competitive district. There's uh, very, you know, a lot of good coaches. Uh, the teams are very well coached, um, you know, and, and uh, trying to still learn about, you know, what they do and, and the kids that they've got coming back and, you know, things of that nature. But, but you know, uh, from what I know right now, I think the district's going to look very similar um, to what it's been. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you got teams like uh, Bay City and Needville and, um, you know, Iowa Colony being this being their second year, I, I would imagine is going to be much improved. Um, Navasota, uh, Brazosport, you know, will have a new football coach. Um, you know, so there, you know, Stafford always has got a lot of talent, um, you know, so th there's a lot of really good teams in our district. And, uh, um, you know, I, I know that, that, uh, we're going to have to play really good football each and every week, uh, in order to be able to compete with those teams and, 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 and have a chance to accomplish the goals that our teams have, have set for ourselves. Now you've been around the uh, high school athletics for, for a couple of years, um, you've been at bigger schools, you've been at smaller schools, and it, based on that multiple perspective, what would you say the biggest challenge facing high school athletics in Texas right now is? You know, I think uh, I, I, the, I think the biggest challenge, I think, is really what is, you know, uh, the challenge for education as a whole. And, um, 
you know, I, I think that the kids haven't changed, you know, over time. I think expectations of kids has changed. Um, I think that there's a lot of societal uh, pressures and influences that, uh, you know, try to, you know, steer kids in all different directions. And, um, you know, and I, I think that you see that as well in high school athletics, you know, when it comes to, you know, the athletics part, you know, you, you know, with, with the modern age of social media and, and recruiting and, um, you know, all the things that go with recruiting and all the, the people that are involved and that try to get themselves involved. I think mean, kids hear from a lot of different, um, they, they've got a lot of different voices talking to them. And a lot of, most of them are, you know, have their best interests at heart. Um, but, um, you know, there's, a, it's not like it used to be where, Hey, you know, let's just show up and go play football and, um, you know, uh, go have fun. You know, uh, now it's all about, you know, how many offers have I got? Am I doing what I need to do to get, you know, college scholarships? Am I, you know, am I, do I need to go get extra training? Do I need to do, you know, play, you know, seven on seven outside of my, you know, high school and all that stuff. And I'm not saying that, that those things are necessarily bad, but uh, they cannot take the place of, um, you know, what, what's going on at the high school. And uh, I think those things are, are probably challenges that our kids face today that maybe kids 10, 15 years ago didn't have to worry about. All right, so now let's go from real big picture to real small picture, try and learn a little, little bit about Travis Reed. What would you say your number one guilty pleasure is? <laughs> Bluebell ice cream, no doubt. <laughs> what do you have to be guilty about there, Coach? Well, uh, I've been known to uh, uh, eat ice cream many a nights, uh, well past my bedtime, and uh, or uh, getting a pint of uh, our coaching staffs over the years uh, know that uh, anytime we've gone on scouting trips or going to clinics or stuff, there's usually going to be a pint of ice cream being eaten uh, in the car on the way and probably on the way back too. So uh, that's definitely a guilty pleasure. But isn't that a residency requirement for Texas? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it just shows that I'm, I'm a verified true blue Texan. So. What's your uh, favorite bluebell flavor? Oh, whatever, whatever, whichever one I, I see first is, is the problem. I like them all. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's for, you know, the ice cream isn't seasonal, but I'm seasonal, you know, sometimes it's Rocky road, sometimes cookies and cream, millennium crunch, you know, pistachio almond. I like them all. All right, Coach, well, thank you very much for your time today. Best of luck as you wrap up the school year there and head into the 23 season. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate it, and thanks for uh, all that you do in covering Texas high school football. Uh, you make it special. Thank you, Coach. LoneStarGridiron.com. Access the complete history of Texas high school football, over 100 years of information, win-loss records, coaching histories, individual stats, records, and more. Lone Star Gridiron, the authority on Texas high school football.